long range. No good, the broken stick. Couldn't see that coming. Come back, come back. Jack, come back. Believe me. Howdy. Howdy. Got mistaken for a local, as you can see. So not. <laughs> no. Just a blow in. <laughs> Just a terrorist. <laughs> so we're on the. Covenco stage coach tour at the moment. We're just having a quick lunch break and we've seen the tent show. Pretty good. It was very good. Hmm. Funny. Got some footage on it that I can share. Um, and we're just waiting to go on our stage coach tour. So we're here at the booking office at the moment. It's got a lot of memorabilia and stuff in it hmm. to do with all the old stage coach history of hmm. Covenco. Plenty to see. It is. Very interesting. Mm. But anyway, looking forward to it. The horses are all out the back. They had a few animals in the show. In the show. Bit of a giggle. Mm. Had pops here having a bit of a laugh. Bit of a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was good. We'll let you know what the rest of it's like once we get back, I guess. Still a little bit to go, yeah? Mm. But anyway, we're here in Long Reach for yeah. Three days. Three days. Walked into the musty, smelly bar. You've been on the horse for days and days, riding and riding. Where's the beer at? That's all he said as soon as he walked in the door. <laughs> History of the Cobb and Co coach. Okay, lead the way. Coach area. It's the old Conco coach. Check it out. Old battles. Oh, is it the real deal? Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's the decision. Saddling up the horses. What are you looking at? Stuff. Stuff. It's set up really nice. And that's what we just watched. The old Harry Redford old time tent show. Just the bag. There's all their props for the show. They're just getting the horses ready to go on our stagecoach. A little bit smelly. Uh -huh. This is where we watched the show not long ago and it was quite good. What you looking at? Stuff everywhere. Well it must have been the middle of the night. I awoke feeling cozy and warm. I arrived there at the foot of my bed for this horrible ghostly form. Well he looked to be half man, half eight. Yeah, he had a head like a chimpanzee. Well, I wondered what he was doing there. Well, what did he want from me? <laughs> papers! Get your papers! <laughs> oh. 
Let's go on out. Where's your brother? Extremely windy today, Jim. Hey, look at that. Fair enough. Well done. Only one more month left. <laughs> I think they pulled your chicken in, Jim. Hey, that's a lot shorter than I thought it was, Jim. Yeah, it is. Yeah, come on. Jim. Put your hand up, love. Put your hand up like that. Nah, the gloves too big, it will be a safety issue. Nah, he's right, Jim, I'm pretty good, eh? Hey? I'm pretty good. Are you sure? Well, his fingers dropped now, so he should be right, then. Eh? Oh, well, what's your name, love? Leanne. <laughs> Hang on there for a minute. Are these, are these like real expensive subscription ones? Oh, I'll look after them. I found something in half what's bag off. Yeah, yeah, this is going to work. Hey, I'll bet they're I'll find them. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll be safe now. Right, no, now this works, yeah, look, it's easy. We just go like this and then, then we'll back it over and over, please. Yeah, but I can't get the straw in the mouth, Jim. Oh, that's the point. Hang on. Oh, hang on, this will work doubly well. This way, if you hit her on the nose, you won't get any blood in her eyes. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah. Hey. Right, I'll get over here in the way. All right, now, whack your head behind your back there. Ah, uh, wait. Basically. Right, that move. <laughs> right out on the count of three. Same about the wind. One, two. Take a look now. That's not bad, eh? Told you I was good, Jim. Oh no, no, that's I'm I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Mm. No, no, you don't want to have another go. We probably don't know what the dirty end is, but <laughs> good on you, Lee. Hey, there's an half off. Yeah. You said, did you bring your pack or something with you? Yeah, you just ran the corner. All right, well, how about you go and get him? I'll take Lee back to a seat. Right. Yeah, we'll get through the, the, the pack or part of the interview. Okay, won't be long. Uh, here's your glasses, love. Well. And I'll wrap them up and see them stay there. <laughs> Oh, uh, don't you know what this is? <coughs> oh, yeah. It's a COVID mask. We'll <laughs> This is it. This is the... Oh, it's a bit dark. I'll take you out the back and show you. Oh, no, that's the inside. Tea. Here. Yeah, No, no. Where should we get out of here? I don't know, no, no Mr. Tour. We're just about ready to get on the Common Cove. Everybody's getting on over there. Mm. I volunteered to get up the front with the driver. Uh, they're all getting on. <laughs> Hubby's packed in there at the front. This is going to be a hoot. I'll let you know if I've regretted my decision to sit up the top with the driver. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Alright. All right. Are you here? Yep. Under the hub, the wheel, you can hang under the brake, the front, or back here. Alright. Uh oh. The natives are getting.
Frame Cove up here, Long Ridge. Yeah, Freeman Cove. He was sent out here to Australia in the early gold rush days. He sent out here to start up a freight company. All them freight from the wharves of Melbourne down to the gold fields. Now there's himself, a senior partner, two wagon drivers, and a young clerk who worked in the office. And that senior partner, he stepped off the boat, he had a quick look around, jumped back up straight back home to America. There's no way in the world this could be done. Somehow Freeman, the freight truck wagon driver, Two was owned by a private enterprise. You see, Cobb Co. was such a good name that everyone just kept on using it. Well, that name's still being used today. If you go to Google Cobb Co., about the third one down your list is actually a lady's handbag. Nothing to do with the transport industry at all. That then got a picture of a horse on the front. Of it. Now, this is all part of the town common out here. You've got 30,000 acres running around Longridge, all owned by the Crown. Now you used to be allowed to run cattle out on the common. Too many people were knocking off each other's cars. They are claiming that their cows were having four or five cars each a year. Well, that's just not heard of. Their cows were chicken bully arguing, but they said no more cattle on the common. You still know to run horses out here though, but you must be a rate payer, and it will cost you 10 cents a week. These days the common's mainly used by the young fellas getting out here on the weekend and the motorbikes and the paddock bashes. Well, that's yours to keep. You can take it home if you like. Now, I do just go ask you to leave your name Stephen <laughs> until we get them chased and die as the horse is tied up. They know what they're doing. Don't give them any credit. Oh, they you don't didn't. steer them, they straight into that wall mm. over there. <laughs> they're gorgeous. How did you go up there? Yeah, good. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. No one fell off. It was a bit, bit hairy when you started to go really past there, and all that dust was. <laughs> got a bit of mouthful of grit in my teeth, and dust stuck to my lipstick. Yeah. I, know why I bother with the lipstick. It's, it's great. It's called free expectations. <laughs> well, that was such a great experience. The horses. <laughs> Co stage coach. It's awesome. Broke my stick. <laughs> <laughs> Fell apart, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> no. Mm. Yeah, no good. A broken stick. Couldn't see that coming. <laughs> no, I did it. I pulled it. Yeah, Broke it. On. What did you think? Super good. good. It was excellent. Pretty good, eh? Pretty good up front. I reckon. <laughs> good... Footage? Yeah, mm. it was excellent. Mm. What a fantastic experience. 
just loved it. Just took us all out the back of the town, got us up to speed. It was great.